What's up everybody? In this video, I will provide step-by-step -step guide to creating chatbot using Python. We will use open source LLM Llama 2 with 7 billion parameter for conversational purposes. For accessing LLM, we won't use OpenAI or replicate REST APIs, but instead we will run LLMs on our local machine using a tool named Olama. Olama also has a Python library that let us access these LLMs on our local machine for free. It will serve as a backend of our chatbot. The frontend will be created using famous ML app building library Gradio. So without further ado, let's get started. To run LLMs on your local machine, you first need to install Olama. For that, go to Olama website olama.com and then click on this download button. From download page, install the Olama version based on your operating system. For Linux, you simply need to execute this command in the terminal and it will install Olama over there. Once Olama is successfully installed, you can verify the installation by going to terminal and then executing command Olama. And if you see a doc like this help page, then it confirms that Olama is successfully installed on your system. So once Olama is successfully installed, the next step is to download the Llama 2 model which we will use as a backend of our chatbot. For that, execute command olama pull llama2 in terminal and this command will download llama2 on your system. Now this can take some time depending on your internet speed because the file size is around 4 GB. Alright, so the download has completed. Now we can use this model for conversational purposes. So the total code for the chatbot is present in this file chatbot.py. So let me explain you the code. So first of all, I imported two libraries, Gradio as GR and Ulama, which we will be using for our tutorial. And you can install both of them using pip. The first function that I have declared is format history. So this function simply takes the history of messages and formats it. So it takes the latest messages sent by user, history of the conversation and system prompt. And then it converts it into the format which is required by our LLM. So first of all, we create a chat history list with the system message. So role is system and content. And then we look through history, which is a list of list. And each individual list is a query and response. So we append that uh, query and response. So role is user and assistance is the response sent by assistant. And at last, we append the latest query sent by the user to chat history. And then we return it. Next, I have declared a function generate response which is responsible for generating answer to user query. So it takes the user query, history, chat history and system prompt as input. And first of all, it formats the total history with the latest message using the format history function, which we declared earlier. So there's chat history, which is a list of dictionaries. And then to generate response, it calls the chat method of Olama module. And over there, we can provide model, which is the Llama to which we are going to use. And messages is the total chat history with the last element, which is the latest user query. And over here, we have set stream to true. So the response now will be a generator instead of the normal response. And we can look through this generator, which will generate a new token each time. So that's what I'm doing over here. I'm looping through generator, retrieving the latest token and appending that token to our total message and then yielding that message. As you can see, message is initially empty and as new token keep on coming, we keep on appending that tokens to message and then yield that message. So that will be displayed on the UI of our chatbot. Next, I have declared the total interface of our chatbot using this uh, UI component nip chat interface, which is readily available from Gradio. So we can create a complete chatbot using this simple UI component. And it takes the first function or callable to which the user query and the history of messages will be sent and this function will be responsible for generating the response. So that's what we declared earlier generate response which we will give over here. Then there are all other parameters over here are actually optional. So if you want then you can ignore them or you can if you want to modify the look of your chatbot then you can provide those uh, individual parameters. Now in my case I have modified some of this. So for chatbot there is a parameter named chatbot where you can provide a chatbot UI. So there, there is a functionality to provide images. So I have provided images. 
and there are two images which is present in the same directory as this python file for user and chatbot so first the uh, image should be of user and second one should be of chatbot next uh, you can provide additional widgets as well so if you want to use multimodal model then uh, you can use this additional inputs to provide extra widgets like images and text box and so on so over here i am specifying extra text box for providing system prompt for i for that i am using radio.textbox function for declaring text box then you can modify the title description theme and there are four buttons which will come with this chat ui which is the submit button for sending retrieve to retry the last query undo button to delete previous response and clear button to clear complete chat history so that's how you can declare chat ui using radio by calling this gr dot chat interface function and once you declared a ui you can simply call dot launch on it to launch the ui all right so that's the code of our chatbot it took nearly 42 lines of code to create this chatbot so let me bring up gradio server and show you this uh, chatbot so in order to run chatbot first of all we need to bring olama server for that go to command line and execute this command olama serve this command will bring up olama server through which we will access our llama 2 model so once you execute this command it will bring up server now in my case you see it has generated error saying that this address is already in use the reason behind this is that mine is a linux operating system and when you install olama on linux operating system it by default creates a system service which keeps olama server running in the background so in my case it's already running and if i try to run it again then that's why it's giving me error that it is already in use so server is already running and i don't need to take any extra step so now that we have verified that olama server is running we can bring up our app by simply executing this python file python chatbot.py so i am already in this directory chatbot using radio where the chatbot file is present and once i execute this command it will bring up the server and as you can see the server is available from this url so let me copy it all right so here's our chatbot and as you can see there is an additional input so if i click on it over here is a system prompt so if you want to modify the system prompt by default i have kept that behave as if you are a professional writer so if you want to modify you can modify system message from here so let's go ahead and ask it some queries so i will ask it to write a short paragraph introducing bill gates all right so it seems to have written a very nice paragraph introducing bill gates so let me go ahead and ask a follow-up question that can you please rephrase your previous response and let's see how it's doing yeah it seems to have done a good job at rephrasing our previous response which was a simple paragraph introducing bill gates so that's it for today's tutorial so if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section